guys. Hey y'all, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Davina. And welcome back to Whoosh Bang Pow. Well hey, have you heard anything recently? I did hear something that intrigued me recently. Really? What was it? It was, so I will give y'all just a little pre-story. Okay, faster. <laughs> Very fast pre-story. So I was just starting up to watch The Gifted the other day, and I, as, I, as one does, I go to look up reviews for most of the shows that I watch, AV Club Nerd, and I go, and the first thing I see in Google is an article that says Supergirl premiere underperforming along with its, its show that it's supposed to be leading in this season. So, I don't know how much we might have had to do with it. I don't know how yeah. much LGBT may have had to do with it, yeah. but it took a took pretty a dip. nice dip. It took a dive a little bit, like 0. 0.5. Yeah. Like even down from the May uh, finale and then the average of season two ratings. So, uh, I mean, if they're not, if they didn't think that they pissed anyone off, <laughs> I think, you know, and I'm not celebrating in the fact that their ratings got you know, dipped. Mm -hmm. um, I'm cel celebrating in the fact that so many people wanted their voices heard. Yes. Um, and then they're blaming Monday Night Football. Let me talk about Monday Night Football really quick. Mm. Monday Night Football had their lotus, lowest season ratings on Monday. Yes. So if they went to Monday Night Football, <laughs> there wasn't that, they must have replaced all the people that weren't watching Monday Night Football. Right. Because they've, they've got their own issues with, with football currently, with, with, People getting mad because people want yeah. to protest because stuff is effed up in this country. What I was interested to read, though, was there was a lot of people that seemed to jump onto the bandwagon for The Gifted. And it maintained right. its viewership from episode one to episode two. I have not had a chance to watch all of The Gifted. I started the first episode and I had to stop. Um, I've just been super busy and I have not had a chance... To watch that show, um, I wish we could react to it because I, I hear it's a really good one. Uh, but uh, I I'm Fox. you know what? Go ahead. I said, but Fox. <laughs> yeah, I know. Unfortunately, but what I think happened was a lot of Supergirl fans went to the gifted. I think so. Too. They're both on Monday night. Are yeah. they both on opposite time slots? They no, they're the same time slot. So That's... yeah, we're opposite. They're opposite each other. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I think that they're losing to the gifted or losing some of the viewership to the gifted. So, mm -hmm. good on you guys for making your voices heard. I'm super proud. We never thought we would start anything like Blackout Supergirl. Whoever started that hashtag, um, thank you for that. I would just wanted to talk about having a say in what you uh, watch mm -hmm. as a viewer, that you have a say. You don't have to just sit there and watch something and not be happy with it. You have a choice to not watch it and then find others to join you. Mm -hmm. And whether or not Supergirl is going to get good this season, I don't know. Whether or not people really did black out Supergirl just for the premiere and they will join it in the second episode, who knows? Um, we won't know until the ratings. I probably won't make the judgment until mid-season. Yeah. Uh, but what we're going to do is I got a bunch of episodes or a bunch of clips from last night's or not last night's Monday night's episode. Um, it's not crack. It's just a compilation of clips. We have no context. Mm. It's just for me and him to kind of see some well, scenes. Uh, yeah. So. Seeing, seeing just what basically is out there. I've read some stuff about this season. So far, uh -huh. unfortunately, what I've read just as, as far as, you know, it's the first thing on my Google feed scrolling up and seeing. Right. I'm not... I'll, not watching it, and I can't really judge until at which point, which I would deign to watch the whole season. But so far, what I'm hearing is already making me mad because it's basically counter most of the stuff we said we didn't want to see. Okay, well, we're going to watch so, yeah. some scenes and see if what you're talking about is in these scenes. Uh, so we're going to watch uh, some Supergirl scenes from the premiere from season three. Right now. We're not the ones who lost someone. I think patience is the least we can Okay. Okay. They dated for six months? Okay. Call me selfish, but I, just, I really miss my sister sometimes. Aw, we miss her too. We miss your bond. Yeah. What's going on with you? Why are you suddenly so down on this wedding? No, I'm, I'm, I'm well, y'all have only been dating for what, I six just, months? Eight, maybe? I don't know. 
Maybe it was because I was forced into it, because the writers just needed to give the gays out, yeah. something. Hey. Just pigeonholed by plot. Robert Dubois goes by Bloodsport, which is not any sport I've ever heard of. What it, do you know about him? Oh, it's kind of like MMA fighting before it was MMA fighting. Okay. Oh. So, it's a spaceship? Help the person! Jesus, Charlie. Completely decided to, to give up my career that I wanted. Without making you talk about Monel, there's nothing to talk about. Without forcing you to go to game nights, Cara Danvers doesn't quit. She quits the things that aren't important. Oh my Help God! You help people there. Yeah. I'm like Supergirl does. Cara Danvers. Cara Danvers sucks right now. Oh my God. Well, yes, Supergirl she does right now. Yes, yeah, she does. Sad girl whose boyfriend is gone. I don't like that girl, Alex. You are We're that girl. That you girl are right that girl. Now. <laughs> oh my god. And tell me what it feels like. I can't. <laughs> just let me. You're just bottling it up inside and you're making bad decisions. And I'm worried. If it were Maggie, it's a smart what decision would you be doing? and evil. Why Anna? are they so mad at each other? Marry, when did they use, when can they what not can have a conversation? I you when give me a bar every night. Writers. I mean, you a wreck at work. I feel like I'm watching a teen Maybe soap. Broken. Okay, if you are, I'm not. God, bitch. That's what humans Bitchy do. Bitchy much. Oh my god. I'm better than that. Wow. Clark okay. Says, oh my god. Even when Clark went emo mode in Smallville, it wasn't sacrifice. this grating to watch. But me, I couldn't have lived with myself if I hadn't. I tried to be. But I'm not. Oh my god. Cara Danvers was This a is hard to watch. So, uh, if you have an update about work, I'd love to hear it. What? Otherwise, uh... I... So you're basically just dismissing your sister. Bloodsport has the capability. Cara Danvers... is my favorite person. She saved me more times than Supergirl ever could, so just... Think about that while you're trying to get rid of her. Aw, way to go, Alex. Yes. That was a good that line. Was, that was good. The truth is. So he's big the big bad. The yep. still being ruined from those Dax lights. Look at us now. I'm glad he landed somewhere after being killed off of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think we all should give ourselves a pat on the back. In six months, you've done the impossible. Let's not forget about Superman. <laughs> huh. No, stop it. I hate the fact that this is happening. Yeah. Why is Jimmy on the board? Take a lot more than a pretty statue to bring people down to that. I mean, no offense. He may be taking over Catco, but he has no experience to know how to be a board member. You do better to explain how my development will revitalize things. Spouting the Catco company line? Really? Ah. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering all the good press they've been giving you lately. She's earned that. I can't. I can't. I don't want it. <laughs> it they don't have any chemistry. At all. Why? How she nice. No, but they don't have any chemistry. Not, uh, no. Like, uh, you can't yeah. manufacture chemistry that's not even there. We're manufacturing a relationship that doesn't need to exist. Neither is exploitation. I just want a fair hearing, that's all. I hate to think that any of you here were unfair. Hmm? Now, this I entire situation is unfair. Spread. This whole situation is ridiculous. Oh. Super Corp. Did you know? No. 
James was blindsided, too. He thinks it's his fault for getting in Edge's face. And he didn't spend that kind of money on a grudge. Do you think the shareholders will listen to Kat? Well, Kat had to put her... You helped Supergirl save the world. How hard could one stubborn sexist be? All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Well, hey, I... I, mean, well, I missed you. Is everything okay? Because I keep trying to make plans and you keep ditching. I just want to... okay. I wanted to say I was sorry for the part I played and what happened to Monel. How do you not understand that the same person? It's killing me right now. They just dumbed down Lena, and I can't. Oh, Lena with the puppy dog eyes. How? How do you not? It literally makes no sense. People are gonna start talking. Morgan, you have all of the charisma of a Michael Douglas movie from the nineties. <laughs> Damn! Oh you know what? Honestly, I like this actor, but I don't like the way he's acting in this character. But you focus on that. You know you can take the Luther role if you make people still aren't gonna trust you. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Well, at least these are all Lena scenes. <laughs> hey, I was just about to call you. I should have called. I heard about the attack at the unveiling. Oh, no. Well, you can't convince a boy like that of anything. So what, Kako's gone? No. I bought it. Ha! You're kidding. Oh. Are no. You kidding? Pretty badass, right? I'm just trying to... Oh. oh. Uh, she quit. I actually quit. Well then, I'm quit. I can't do this without you. I literally know nothing about running a media. Oh, neither do I. You know more than I do. You studied under Kat, and I mean, I trust you. Where is Jimmy in this you equation? Your best friend. Jimmy does make sense in this equation. I just, than your brother is. I can't. <laughs> and go and let you handle this. <laughs> oh damn. As she swatches into her other persona real quick. Huh? Damn. Damn. I really miss watching Lena. Oh, how convenient. No! Really? What the fucking girl? Are you kidding me? Or she doesn't need help. Well, I think now she... Wait, she has to know that she has powers, right? They're... They're... Basic... It looks like they are basically repeating how they treated, um... Doomsday on Smallville. Because he didn't know he was an alien either. Where's the Martian? I don't understand. Why isn't Jean diving in there and doing something? I'm... So that they can treat the whole moment to have Monel come in her head to wake her up to make her do it. What? That's gay. <laughs> I don't. What? Lena just texted her heart? Yes. I mean, I'm glad she's going back to Kako. But, 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 but now it's just after, especially after the stuff with the summer, now it's just textbook bait. Wow, it only took her one episode to get back. <sighs> Is this Amy Man? She sounds like Amy Man. Oh, that doesn't look like her. Maybe not. That was creepy as fuck. I think she just got awakened. Okay. Alright. No. Mm, hold on. Well, uh, 
without knowing any context of the episode and not being able to watch the whole one, what did you think of these scenes? Although I did love that they had a lot of Lena in them. There was <laughs> Thank a lot you, of Lena. Did all that. There was, is, and for them to have that much Lena in those scenes means that we have actually learned one lesson. When you make a regular cast member a regular cast member, you actually treat them as a regular cast member. Right. And give them screen time and give them plot development. So yay for that. However, them sowing these seeds of potentially making Alina courtship with Jimmy. Oh my God, please no. I can't. Mm-mm. It, it's, why? More to the point with the whole back to that whole board thing. They even said within the show when she left and she, you know, she basically, her shares went to like a trust. blind trust. Blind trust. So how in the fuck is Jimmy a board member? Like, oh. how did, uh, he's, he's a photographer. And even though he was head of a department, that doesn't give him, he wouldn't have enough shares for a board seat. Well, he wasn't given, but did I miss something? He was, Kat told him to take his place. Just because you take your boss's place doesn't mean you get stock in a company. No, it doesn't. You just get the job. So uh, that's what I'm com- confused about. I don't know if that got explained in this episode. I don't really care. It, it's so, like, it's much of the same. I feel like we would just be roasting Supergirl week in and week out, and we would be frustrated. And thank God there weren't a lot of wind scenes, because I can't really handle looking at that actor and having, like, joy. <laughs> right. Because I just look at him differently. It's frustrating. Um, th- okay, so yeah. I agree. Here, the thing is, is if she bought Catco, why wouldn't she want then Jimmy on board? Because supposedly, when he wasn't the Guardian, he was running Catco. <laughs> because Kara wasn't even reporting. <laughs> Season two. She was trying to... Freaking had Monel be a superhero. I. She did one or two stories. One, the Maybe. one definite story was on the the robot guy. Mm-hmm. The that got nanobites. Her her job back. Yeah, the nanobites, and then the other story was the the guardian storyline with the aliens that mm-hmm. you know had those whatever with the frequency. Those are the two stories that stand out of an entire season two. Yet she knows Catco more than Jimmy. Who was put in Cat's place to run Cat Co? It's it doesn't compute. <laughs> These writers. I hate These making writers. <laughs> I hate having to draw comparisons, but I don't have a choice. Please. Okay, go ahead. Season Quickly. eight Quickly. of Smallville, I think, was the first season that officially had Clark as a reporter. Right. At the Daily Planet. Okay. I think out of the 20-some episodes of that season, there were probably 16, 17 episodes where he was working on some kind of story. Yeah. And on occasion, trying to work on the big story of who or what Doomsday actually was. Right. So, how, if we could do that back then with worse special effects and a somewhat, unfortunately, less compelling actor. I love right. Tom Welling because he's gorgeous and he was... He's on Lucifer. He, I saw that. Oh, I'm <laughs> loving that. Anyway, go ahead. So, yeah. But being able to do that in Smallville, why can't we... Because, I mean, she is a right. good enough actress that she could pull that off if only the writers would actually give her the balance of what a super is supposed to be being right. able to lead your regular life and you're just, I, I, I can't. It just, it makes me so... Well, let me answer you that question. It's because of the D.O. They're managing two two things. The D.O. and, and Cat Co. That's why. But you would think that would no, still no, be able I to mean, split but does it make sense more though? Well, balance though because it's been D.O. heavy like I know, but heavy, the, heavy. Right, but that was the direction they wanted to go in. So that's to answer your question. Mm. They went with the DEO more than CatCo. Because we had the discussion in season two of why can't she do stories that are like that, that are integrated into the storyline of finding the big bad or the big bad story arc. And she's and she, she and Jimmy then can work together. That was our thing of getting Jimmy involved, mm-hmm. is actually doing stories within CatCo, but they made it all about the DEO. So yeah. that's the answer to your question. Um, how they incorporate Cat Co and the DEO 
in the season three, who knows? I don't know. I mean, I we didn't really watch the going into the board, so that if we're going to be involved in CatCo, it's going to be on the board side, because it's certainly not going to be on the reporter side, because when is she reporting? Well, here's my question. Now that Lena bought CatCo, will she be at CatCo or at L Corp? Because she just sense. said, she told Cara, she's like, she can't do it without Cara. So does that mean she'll be in Cat's office now and run CatCo? Or did she just buy and then she's still with L Corp? So anyway, I, I, whatever. We've seen um, that before, though. That's, again, we've seen that before because, again, season eight of Smallville, when after Lex had bought the Daily Planet and then he died and then uh, Tess came in, Tess ran both Luther Corp and the planet, but she kind of split her time. Right. So we might yeah. see that. We might see her spend more time in one versus the other. It'd be, I mean, it would be interesting, though, with this version, with Lena being more of a non-villain, to see her interacting and see the, the happy moments, to see her intermingling with some of the other workers mm-hmm. and stuff, learning the ropes. Mm-hmm. But... One thing that I read that makes me frustrated is it sounds like there is one of the plots of this season that's supposed to be towards heading her not into, like, the anti-hero checkmate thing, but into a villain at some point. And I just, uh, I can't. Whatever. Um, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, Can we talk about the heart and the response? (laughs) I mean, I don't do that with a lot of friends. I just really, I mean, anyway. <laughs> the only time I've sent like a heart or, a, or like, no, the only time I've sent one of those has been to somebody I've been seeing. So, yeah, or like, why wouldn't it have been like, you're the best, see you Monday or something like, thanks, I really need you there. Like, no, but it's just a heart. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, so this is what I'm going to say about the writing. And I don't know if you want to agree with me or disagree with me. There are shows that when they have up and down seasons or you really don't know where the writers are going, um, you, you kind of take a blind leap of faith that maybe the stories and what the writers have planned for the show goes beyond what we want and what we would envision for it. Mm-hmm. So we should just go ahead and hold on tight and, and go with what the writers want to show us. Mm-hmm. The reason I can't do that with Supergirl is they they have proven that their writing it doesn't deliver in in a way that would go oh my god it doesn't deliver like Sons of Anarchy or like Mad Men or you know The Wire or even like Halt and Catch Fire which I might be the only person that watches Halt and Catch Fire but like from season one to season two to season three there's always something different going on on that show. And you're like, what in the hell are they going to do? Mm-hmm. But I hold on tight because not only is it well acted, it's just well written. Mm-hmm. And it's very like, everything is very efficient. Everything has a purpose. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I can't say that about Supergirl. It, the writing is just so frustrating. They keep putting a circle into a square peg. Like, it just, I can't. It they just, fit. It doesn't fit. Um, and the, the ratings low should hopefully wake them up. Yeah. I I don't want to see it canceled, but I almost want to see it canceled so Katie can move on. <laughs> like, can we just get her? Can we just get her a better show. It's her and Odette. So, it's just so unfortunate. Like, and I was noticing that over my course of TV watching and stuff this week. We unfortunately had to stop um, doing uh, American Horror Story because of the, the issues we were having. Like the first episode freaked us the hell out the second and the third were kind of like what and then the fourth episode started to unravel some of the mystery and while it did that it brought in more questions and it had me going like okay you're still watching it i'm still watching it now i'm intrigued and i stopped at four i was at four was my limit i was like okay either it's going to get better or it's the fourth episode had me like no i'm having a hard time trying to binge watch how to get away with murder oh she's working on i that started too. watching unfortunately i can't do premiere and season finale on season one because mm-hmm. i just needed to start it and i did not have time to react to the first episode mm-hmm. i haven't gotten to the finale man is that freaking show frustrating here's the thing that's a great example so so yeah. how to get away with murder i don't know what's going on with that show there are a lot of frustrating things about that show 
Um, but it's a different frustration level than Supergirl. Yeah. And I trust that the writers are taking me where I'm not envisioning, but there's a purpose of why everything is happening. Yes. On the show, and it all will come together in the last two episodes. This is, I can I'm, actually I, attest to that since I've I, caught up. It's right. true. It's going so, to catch you up. So if that's true, I'm hanging on for dear life, and I'm going to write out my frustration and not want to kill Wes. Why would he use a trophy? Just tackle the guy. Tackle the guy off of her. He's just choking her. He's just choking her. There are four of you. Just pile on him. He's not a big man. Like, just none like, of them get are, him off of her. Why are you but using none a of trophy? Them are used to, none of them are violent people. It's, he used a trophy. <laughs> You can't, you, can't, you can't get more violent than using a trophy up against someone's noggin. Are you joking? He panicked and he took the closest thing. As opposed to tackling him, which may or may not have worked. I don't know. Four what do you together. Mean? There were two men <laughs> and two women. You're telling me they couldn't just like all like tackle and push him off. He was just choking her. He doesn't weigh 300 pounds. It's bystander bias. Everybody is freaking out like, oh my God, do something. And it's like four of you. There are four of you to do something. So any of you can do something. Jeremy, don't ever own a gun. No, I don't. Don't you want ever to. own a gun? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you don't ever want to hear. I just panicked. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> we saw that on American Horror Story. They, no, I don't. I don't want one. I don't. I don't need one. I'm just saying. No. Like it just doesn't make. It's... Everything is frustrating me right now with how to get away with murder. <laughs> We will probably pick but it up it mid-season because yes. I I'm I, I don't have a lot of time to binge watch all of it, but it's but it's so good. But anyway, to get back to that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I have faith these writers. I mean, are going to take other, me where other, they need to. But on the other Arrowverse shows, and this is the thing that always frustrates me. They don't have that problem. You you get like shocked and you're ready to to go on the ride because it's maybe it takes a twist away from where you thought. Yeah. But at the same time, it goes in an interesting direction that usually that you want to follow. I'm so glad finally this season we don't have a speedster bat, big bad on the Flash. Don't tell me. God. I haven't watched the Flash either. Oh. I, I haven't caught up on, like, I didn't watch yesterday's episode. I haven't watched anything yet. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, really quick, I don't like the villain. I like that actor. I don't like the way he's being written. or uh, He just feels so over the top. It's, yeah. And, and he's Adrian not... And is a great actor. It's just... He's, like, I loved him in Heroes when mm -hmm. he was that. Yes. That sinistery. And he was this is amazing a in his... It was a character for a different reason. Yeah. His character on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, I was remember. very believable and yeah. in, in that role. Because right. it's like he's that stone, you yeah. know. But this... I this... with you. I, 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 I don't... Well, then it I'm just seems like it. it's like the Glades from the Glades storyline from Arrow, oh, Arrow yeah. first season. But I, there's just something about how it's written. The lines and his and and the way it's being portrayed, it just seems like a caricature. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to get you kids. Like, I, I just can't. <laughs> I can't get on board because it's not like I wish it was was more the heroes. Mm -hmm. Like, the way he was, how he played that guy, where you just really didn't know. Yeah. But he had this intention. It's kind of like how Lex Luthor was in Smallville, where he was, I mean... Yeah. Before season seven, it was it was kind of that, you know, he's so likable. I want them to yeah. stay best friends forever, but he's starting to show those yeah. signs. And yeah. this is more like... He's just bad, bad. Like, oh, I think what it is... It, the writing is like, here's your bad guy. This is Kara being like emo Kara, which emo Kara was like, thank God we didn't watch a whole episode of that because to me, I, I didn't watch the comic books, but in general, Superman and I would assume Supergirl are these characters that are supposed to be positive and enlightening and they just move on and they don't let the darkness get them. And the new, like, versions of Superman that we've seen that are him being broody, and then this broody Kara, it doesn't work because mm -hmm. those aren't innately what those characters are supposed to be. That's, That's not what they're supposed to represent. 
And the fact that they're trying to do that really just... Why are they making every character go out of character to then reemphasize how much Monel meant to her and the whole thing about her hearing Monel's voice to wake her up and Jean I don't know did Jean lose his powers and that's why he didn't turn into Martian whatever um the, I can't they dated for 6 months it wasn't a great relationship and now we've got Sanvers like crumbling because she isn't into the marriage but it's because all of her attentions on Kara and and here's the thing they're like arguing like, teenagers. They're mm -hmm. two adult women. Like, and they're yelling at each other. Um, it, it's just going to be more of the same. Their, and, and that does happen in some, you know, familial situations. But from what we've seen over two seasons, they don't have a dysfunctional family dynamic. No. So for them to have that yelling match yeah. doesn't make any sense. It's the it manufactured drama that is coming from non-organically but being pushed upon us to reemphasize that Kara is really hurting that she had to send her man away and she's lost. Mm -hmm. I There are ways to do that that there are. are more compelling. This just... It, it, mm. I mean, I'm going to be interested to see if the ratings continue to fall. If, if they do... I can only hope the writers get better because mm -hmm. there's probably like three shows in the can right now. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I just think, God, the way they're writing it, just those scenes. Yeah. I am not so sure if, I don't know guys, if we continue to watch Supergirl and me and Jeremy made that decision, we would be roasting it because I can't find other than Lena and Sanvers, which is going to end, like, what would we enjoy? Right. I don't... I mean, maybe Rain, because I love that actress. I love Odette. She's a great actress, and I'm... Her arc... The thing is, it's... I get... So sometimes I get frustrated when it's obviously a repetition of another arc, mm -hmm. because it looks like it's going to be kind of along the same vein of how they did Doomsday when they did it on um, Smallville. Right. However... If she sells it, if she makes it compelling and finds her way to make this arc still its own, I'd be bound for that. G congratulations on doing a very well done slow burn villain. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I don't know. If but I we'll, don't know if we'll get that far. I don't know if Jeremy and I are going to watch um, Supergirl. Um, I just wanted us to watch some of these scenes in the premiere. Wanted to talk about how the season premiere dipped. Good for you guys yes. for, for not watching. I don't know. Moving to the could, gifted. Yes. Which is all good. I wish we could react for it for you guys. But, I wish we could too. But damn, Kyle. I would be I would probably be caught up with the gifted if I knew we were gonna be watching it. I just there are other things going on. Yeah. I just can't. I don't have time. Uh anyway. If you like this video. Oh wait, are we gonna oh, give wait, the scenes what? a grade? I don't feel it's fair to do a grade because... Just the scenes. Okay, fine. Because it's because right. you haven't seen them yeah. in context. Okay. Even out of context, they're not great. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that does it for us, guys. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment below, share with your friends. How do you like this compromise that Jeremy and I are giving you? We will react to Crack. Uh, we will react to compilation videos of Sanvers and Supercorp. Um, and Rain Corp. I don't know. Uh, we will do that Rain, uh, instead Super of Rain. Super Rain. No, no, Rain Corp. No, oh, wait. Oh, with Supergirl and Rain? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, we will go ahead and do that as a compromise. Um, of course, you realize we're doing it all out of context. So when we like roast it, we're just roasting what we're seeing yeah. and not within a whole episode. So there you go. All right. Well, that's it from us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.